Hey, hey, system coach, how are you guys doing? It's me, Johnny Sports, and welcome back to the Newcastle career mode. Today, we are here now in the Champions League. As you guys might remember, the first match against AS Monaco was a quite exciting one. 4-3, we have played against them, and uh, we are now up against them once again in the month of March. We're slowly approaching the back end of the season, and we have to try and achieve our goals. The goals obviously being to try and get past Manchester City in the Premier League title race, which has proven to be a very, very hard thing to do. Right now, we're still four points behind them. In the Carabao Cup final, Manchester City has sadly taken us apart and beaten us. Now, against Monaco, we have a decent matchup here. We have to win this game 4-3 in the first game. We cannot lose at home. It's going to be very important for us to be defensively strong against this Monaco team who has proven to be good enough to score goals against us. At least three they have gotten the last time around. And our team is not fully fit. We have to play this AS Monaco game with the reserves team. Yes, that is about to happen, guys. And I'm looking forward to see what we can achieve here. It's going to be a very, very interesting matchup for us as we don't really see the top players in a starting lineup. It's going to be tough, but we will have to go through this and try our best while doing so. Now, we have a team of, uh, of defenders that are fully fit, midfielders that are fully fit, the central ones. Shira and Coman still not looking too good in terms of their stamina and even the substitutions that we have in terms of Saint Maxima or anyone else basically they are very low on stamina and it's not looking good at all but we'll have to try and do it we'll have to try and get it somehow done it's going to be hard to do but maybe we can pull it off against athlete uh, against uh, AS Monaco with these boys in the team now there's a couple of comments that we need to go through before we get properly into the episode also guys before we even get into the comments, I would really appreciate it if you guys could smash that like button on this video. Let's see how many we can get. Um, maybe let's get to 2,500 again. That'd be great. Thank you guys so much for the continued support on this series. And uh, let's see what we can achieve in today's episode. So here's a comment from Kyle. He says, Johnny, change Cielo's, uh, Cielo Caminante's default position to right wing because... He has 99 pace. Most of his goals come from the wings. His finishing is not good enough for the, for the striker. Uh, Sam Maxima is not performing as well as Cielo in right wing. So Cielo could be a good replacement. Uh, with Shearer already a striker as, and is high rated and with Greenwood performing as well as he is, it's difficult for Cielo to break into the striker position. Plus you have so many strikers. He's only 5'7", so will not be a big threat in the air. I think he's Argentinian, so he could be the next Messi. Uh, also, you can still make a secondary position as a striker. Now, yes, I do agree on a lot of the things. I do, th I do feel like Cielo is currently, due to his lack in shooting and passing and dribbling and physical, just because of his pace and his skill moves, he's obviously doing great down the wings because those are the stats that you kind of want to have down the wings. Pace and uh, good dribbling. Um, but... Uh, we haven't changed anything anything about him yet, but it's a very good shout to actually make him a right wing. I do kind of agree that he is probably going to be a better winger than a striker because we obviously do have Shearer, and he has a 99 pace as well, by the way. I don't know how these guys came out with 99 pace, but they've done it. Um, I, I am going to consider that. I am definitely going to consider that. I might just change his position to a right wing and make him a striker on his second spot. Thank you very much for that comment. As I go into the press conferences to boost our team's morale, there's another comment coming in from Kazi, and he says, Hey Johnny, apparently PES decided to do only a season update in PES 2021 due to COVID-19, and there will be some updates in Master League and animations, but there will be no update in Become a Legend, and it will be the same. Uh, so why don't you start the Cristiano Ronaldo Jr. series very soon? Because we can't wait until 2022 for another PES Become a Legend series, like so Johnny can see. Um... I, I do want to do the Cristiano Ronaldo Jr. series. I will have to think about how I pull this off. Um, I'm personally thinking if I do this before FIFA 20, uh, FIFA 21, we might lose the opportunity of having the PES series during a better fitted time. We had the Benjamin one. The hype was amazing. It was a great series. I think there's still plenty of time for us to do another become a legend series i don't want to rush it i want to find the right moment for it as much as i appreciate that comment i don't feel like it is the right time for it yet 
Not yet. It will come. And when it comes, we'll have the season update of PES 2021 and have everything updated. And then we'll do it. I think that's how we're going to do it. So we're going to wait for the new PES update to come out and then jump into the Cristiano Ronaldo Jr. series at some point where I feel like it is fitting. So until then, we'll stick with FIFA for now and let's jump into the game against Monaco. Here we go, guys. This is now the time for us to step in against AS Monaco. Um, here's one thing that I've been kind of thinking about lately, guys. I know a lot of you guys are watching me play career mode on a daily basis and uh, you try to get most of the content uh, on the channel. I've been thinking about something. I've been thinking about this for a little while. Um, since we are doing the main channel videos heavily edited and just try to make the videos as good as possible, a lot of times there's a lot of people asking for more. A lot of people asking for like a road to glory on the side or something else to watch. Wow. Okay. Um, yeah, that was kind of unexpected. <laughs> I don't know what the hell just happened there. That's a goal straight away from Golovin, I believe, down the center. <sighs> AS Monaco, if it stays like this, I don't like it. I really do not like it. This is not good. 1-0 at home, uh, away from home for them. That is a huge result. We have to turn up now and aggregate. It's 4-4. Obviously, we have scored more away goals, but I don't kind of know how this one counts. And we've scored four away goals. We should be ahead, right? We should be ahead. But um, here we go with Pereira. I'm going to talk about that thing that I wanted to talk about in a second. That should have been a free kick. No free kick given by the referee. You have to be kidding me. So going back to the thing that I was talking about, I was thinking of maybe creating a another uh, career mode channel. Yes, another career mode channel. A secondary one. Where it's going to be barely any... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He's offside. Whew. Oh, I'm glad he, that was offside. Daniel Marlin with a huge chance there. Dude, I'm getting destroyed here. But, yeah, I was thinking about a another secondary career mode channel where we just do unedited. Like, not, not unedited, but, like, mostly just me in the top left. Why is everything going off at the time where I'm trying to explain something? Um, just me in the top left corner and top right corner on the camera. And then you guys just enjoying the content. This means I could actually stream on that channel as well uh, to get the career mode content together for you guys for like longer episodes. And it could be like more in-depth, more relaxed, not too heavily edited. And here we go. Let's go. We score. Let's go. All right. We have gotten the equalizer. Rafa Camacho, the man that has barely done anything in the club, has now stepped up. From that right wing position, he has cut inside, made his way inside. Look at that run. Great run. Shira, great dribbling. And that is the goal. Shira gets himself another assist. That takes him to 11 out of 15 on his objectives. Great, great shot from Camacho there. But let me know if you guys would be interested in something like that. I will put a straw poll into the comments down below where you guys can decide if I should make a second career mode channel where you guys will have access to... Um, more pure content. Let's just put it that way, I guess. No music, no nothing, just the career mode itself. And uh, yeah, I think a lot of um, the older audience would love that because they don't really care too much about the editing, I guess. So just let me know what you guys think. I'm just interested in your opinion here. And I'm looking forward to seeing your guys' uh, response to this idea that I had. Because I've seen a, a bunch of people actually have like secondary channels. And I do myself as well. I have the Ultimate Team channel, which I want to put a lot of in effort into for FIFA 21. Because obviously I want to grow that as much as possible. We have gotten that to 20,000 subscribers right now. But I am thinking about a secondary career mode channel, which kind of would be good. Because there's plenty of people that are still looking for more content on my channel. Here we go. Pereira. Cielo. Oh, that was a bad pass. Come on, man. Let's keep it up. So let me know in the comments down below and I will put a poll into the description of this video. A straw poll where you guys can uh, can say if you want a another career mode channel with more raw content, yes or no. And uh, that way we can actually do career modes wherever we want to without any restrictions and just do... Oh, 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 oh. I need to stop talking about this thing because I'm conceding every time. Every time I keep on talking about this. We can do whatever we want on that channel, okay? So here we go. We've conceded. Ugh, this is bad. This is really bad. And it's Milivojevic. You have to be kidding me. 
Oh no, Mili Vojevic has scored against me there. Unbelievable scenes. Come on, here we go. Down the left, we have some more. Oh, there's a great run by Come on again. Come on, please. Bang it. Oh, referee. Referee, yes, please, please. I mean, come on, that's a red. That's a red. Get out here. Cher, you used to play for us. Now you're gone. Red card. Peace out, mate. Maybe he is in love with Newcastle still and wanted to help us out. I don't know. But Fabian Cher is gone. And we have gotten a penalty. And the penalty will be taken by Pereira. The Enix Bardi replacement. Does the AI know where I'm going? Let's go right and left. And then miss it. How about that, Johnny? How about that? Let's go right and left. And miss it. Well done. Oh, no. Come on. Golovin. Hermoso. No, no. Stop it. Stop it! It's actually 3-1. We are playing against 10 men AS Monaco. And we're losing 3-1. With that strike from Keita Baldediao. We could genuinely, genuinely get kicked out of the Champions League. I am actually in shock right now. It is 3-1, lads. We, we have to turn this around. We desperately have to turn this around. So I beg you, lads... Please, let's get this done. A free kick given to us. <sighs> One and a half minutes of added time. we got to turn this around as much as fast as we can. Come on. Here we go. Hermoso. I need some options down the middle. I see Shira. Shira. He's not going to turn around, is he? Well, that didn't work out. All right. First half is done. Not looking too good. 3-1. Three goals conceded. Our defense is a shambles right now, despite Hermoso and Vlachidimos being in the team as very high-rated players. But... This is looking bad. We got to make some changes. Shearer is coming off. It is going to be... Uh, I guess Longstaff coming in and Pereira moving striker. I guess that's what I'm going to do right now because I don't have any other choice. So uh, that's what we're going to do at the moment. And then Samak Samak can come in as the left wing despite the fact that he has absolutely no pace left or no stamina left. We got to try everything we can. Pereira. Mateusz Pereira. Mateusz Pereira making his way through the middle. Gibbs White. I see long stuff. I see Cielo. That was for Cielo. I don't know what we're doing there. I don't know what we're doing there. That was supposed to be for Cielo. Pereira. Yes, that's what I need. That's what I need. Oh, what a save. What a save. Time Maxima. Long stuff. Inside. Gibbs White. Gibbs White. Great. Oh, he gets lucky. He gets lucky. He gets freaking lucky. Come on. Gibbs White has gotten it and now on aggregate it is 6-6 six, six. if it stays like this we are through into the next rounds oh my what a game what an unbelievable game come on let's keep this up maybe get another one to feel a little bit more comfortable because if as monaco scored another one here we are doomed we are getting kicked out of the champions league so let's try please let's try here we go to sam maxima sam maxima he's running down the wing Oh, that's a foul ref. Thank you very much. Look at that. Look at that. Camacho. Oh, that would have been nice. If that was someone else, we could have maybe banged that into the top right corner. Mateusz, Gibbs White, Cielo again. Cielo. Ah, that was unnecessary. I don't know what I'm doing there. That was very unnecessary. We're going to chase it down with Cielo. We're going to get it back due to the 99 pace. We're going to chase it down the wings as well. Cielo is on him. Ah, oh, he nearly had it as well. Ah, uh, here it goes, man. These guys are playing really well. It is 15 minutes left after a few seconds here. And we will have to defend with our lives. We only have Cielo and Mateusz forward. The rest of the team is currently defending, which is good to see. At least we're paying attention. Tavares, please. Yes, Tavares. Let's go. And now the counter. The counter is on with Cielo, who is going to make that running behind the defense. I'm going to try and find him here. It's a great pass. It's a great touch. It's great skill moves. It's Cielo. How did I not just score that? Ah, his left foot is a three-star weak foot. I keep forgetting about that. Cielo, his weak foot is not that great. He has five-star skills, but a three-star weak foot. I should have done better. I should have done better. That, was, that might cost us here, lads. That might cost us big time. I need Camacho to make that run. Here's Camacho now with the run itself. Camacho. I see people in the center. I need to take my time why am i just passing it so fast take my time man i'm up anyways here we go let's go mateos pereira the finesse come on then it's done it is finished 
Oh my god, what an intense game. I genuinely thought I was about to lose against 10 men Aos Monaco when they went up 3-1. We have turned the tide once again. Newcastle United with Mateusz Pereira. It is a great combination. Mateusz Pereira, ever since he has come in, has been extremely impressive. If any Spardi wasn't there, he definitely would be our center attacking midfielder in the team at the moment. He started celebrating before the goal even went in. I mean, that just shows you how much this guy trusts in his own quality. Emilivojevic is getting subbed off. There he goes. Demet is coming in. The man that has scored the volley against us last time around. But AS Monaco now need two goals to get through into the next round. Or actually, if they get just one, that would mean that we go into extra time. So... Yeah, let's be careful here. Just one goal. A few minutes left here for the referee to still go on for. We'll try and defend this with our lives. That's a great ball down the wing, though. We have to admit. Monaco. Looking for that option down the center. They're not going to find it. Uh, half a minute left here. Half a minute, guys. Come on. We can do it. I believe in us. Oh, no. I don't like that, though. Uh, it's another time where they get another cross in, are they? Yes, it's done. It is finished. We go through into the quarterfinals of Champions League football with the youngsters coming in and getting it done. Pereira, Cielo Caminante, Gibbs White, Longstaff, a bunch of young players have now gotten it done against AS Monaco, who luckily, luckily were down to 10 men because otherwise I think we would have bottled this one, guys. We've gotten the goals from um, Pereira. We got one assist from Cielo, one assist from Longstaff, one from Shearer. And of course, Camacho has scored along with Gibbs White. So very pleased with the performance of, these, of this young team. But once again, we're conceding a lot of goals. Lately, we've been conceding three goals minimum in every match that we play. So I don't like that at all. That needs to change. Oh, someone returns from injury. Who is that? Who is that coming back from injury? It is Memphis Depay. Okay. Okay. Now, that's an interesting one. As you guys know, Greenwood has kind of replaced him. By the way, fan objectives. Take a look at it, guys, right now. Knock on wood on 19 out of 24. Uh, Shira is now actually on 11 out of 15 due to the performance of the last game. And of course, we're still chasing down the other objectives. As Cielo, by the way, has just gone up to a 73. Yes, Cielo Caminante, now a 73 rated player. Depay back into the team, question mark. Ah, Greenwood, Greenwood, Greenwood. He will now become a super sub once again. And he will have to try and chase down the statistics of Depay as a super sub. He has to, he has to get five more goal contributions. And here's the deal. We are now in the FA Cup against Derby County. The reserves team is looking good. And in the main team, Depay is returning. Yes, Memphis is back. That is good to know, but he is still injured, so he can't get in yet. So we're going to sim this against Derby County with our main team. Then we have less than a week's time where Depay probably will be playing again. So here it goes then. It is two draws and one win in their last three matches for Derby County in the championship I'm surprised that they've made it this far. Mason Greenwood has scored two goals. Nice. That takes him to 21 out of 24. Perfect timing, mate. Well done there, Mason. Bardi gets a goal. Somaximan gets a goal. Neres gets two. And Partey gets one. Klosterman gets injured, though, which is something that we don't like seeing. We do have Tavares in a good backup, but how about the injury? Seven days. All right. Klosterman is going to be back after the Leicester game, I'm assuming. We're going to bring back the training sessions and keep on improving these lads. And Shira now goes up to 76. His shot power has gone up. Nice. There he is. Memphis Depay back into the starting lineup. It's been a long time. It's been a very long time since he it has been gone. Lots of things have changed. Greenwood has become a permanent deal for us. Shira and Cielo have become unbelievable super subs. But now they will be super subs once again <clears throat> for the main team. And Greenwood, the same goes for him. So... Hopefully, the pie being back into the team will allow us. Oops. It will allow us to get easier wins against some of the sides coming up. Leicester City. Where is the team sitting right now? Leicester is 11th. Okay. So they're not doing as well this season, surprisingly. Okay. So who are we playing against after Leicester? It's Wolves. Oh, look at that draw. We're up against Neymar and Mbappe in the Champions League quarterfinals, man. We keep on playing against the French sides. Look at that month. 
Look at the month of April. Paris Saint-Germain, Arsenal, Paris Saint-Germain, Liverpool, Tottenham, and Manchester City again in a cup tie. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. The upcoming month is going to be absolutely insane. Where's Wolves sitting in the league table? Let's take a look at that. Wolves is 10th, so they're ahead of Leicester. I guess I'll sim this one against Leicester and play the one against Wolves. How about that? Oh, they have won a few of their good matches there against Chelsea. They have won. But uh, hopefully we can get a good result. By the way, Barnes is rumored to Liverpool. Apparently Liverpool is interested in him as a backup for the attacking positions. I don't feel like that one would be fitting personally. Also, seeing Kika, a very reliable source, one of the most reliable sources in Germany, to say that Jadon Sancho would rather join Liverpool than Manchester United. But obviously, uh, Liverpool currently don't have that type of money to spend, apparently. At least they don't know what type of money they have due to the current situation. So Sancho to Liverpool is probably not on. I am expecting him to go to Manchester United. I'm expecting that to be the thing that happens. So Maxima, his only goal has gotten us through here. But we have picked up another injury for one of our players. And it is Mugasu this time. Seven days again. Okay, so Klosterman, who got replaced by Mugasu, is now back into the team. And Mugasu will sadly remain injured as we move towards another game here. Oh no, did it actually happen? No way. City have finally dropped points. There is no freaking way. Chelsea. Let's go, Chelsea. Thank you so much, Frank Lampard, for getting the draw against City. No one is able to pick points off of them. So far in 29 games, only four times City have dropped points. We are now two points behind them. We do not have any games against City in the league anymore. So we have to rely on other teams on getting it done. That is beautiful to see. Manchester City up against Huddersfield next. That is going to be an absolute smashing for Huddersfield, who have six points after 30 games. I feel bad for them. I really do. Oh, transfer offer for Hermoso. Interesting. Atletico Madrid want Hermoso back. Okay. I did not expect that. But to be honest, uh, we are looking to sell him because we obviously have uh, Mugasu. So personally, I have nothing against it. Let's make that deal happen. If we do so, let's see if it works out. Here is uh, our main man, Simeone. I'm going to be asking for 50 mil. Let's see what he says. I know they're not going to accept that, but 40.3 is what they're offering. I guess I will have to ask for 42. Come on, please. 42 million for Hermoso. It is happening. We are letting him go. Finally, we have gotten an offer for him. As you guys know, we have Godfrey, Salisu, and Mugasu, most importantly, who has taken over the centre-back position and won't let go. And for that reason, Hermoso has become irrelevant at this point. So, we are expect accepting the deal, despite the fact that Hermoso is the third... Jo uh, no, yeah joint third highest rated player in the team it's Partey and Soyuncu as the highest rated ones and then there's Hermoso along with Klostaman, Neres uh, and all the other 84 rated ones Vlahodimos I don't even count because yeah he's not really an important player for us at the moment but that is nice to see we are getting that money into our team for the next season 40 million is big big money I, I appreciate that coming in now and now we're going to take Douglas Luiz out of it again. And we're going to bring back Mugasu into the training sessions. Here we go. Hard defensive training sessions for that man right there. Who's going to get to 100 strength, it seems. Newcastle United against Wolves. I'm actually sitting down for this one because I have a little bit of uh, a sore back due to my training session yesterday. So here we go, lads. Let's see what we can achieve in this matchup. Any Spardi is going to have Memphis Depay ahead of him again. It has been a long time since we have seen that partnership. Three months in total. A comeback of Memphis Depay. Will it be a good one? Or will we be missing the likes of Greenwood in that position? I wonder. Here we go. Good passing play from the team early on. Enis Bardi. Great movement of the ball. Here we go again. Great pass. Depay. He is turning in, inside, out, somehow, Memphis Depay has made his comeback happen instantly in the fifth minute. How did that work out? How did he just do that? That was such a weird one. The passing to him wasn't the best. I mean, it was good, actually, but somehow he gets through the defender. I want to see that replay again. 
I really, really do. I don't know what the pie has done, but it was actually outstanding. Oh, no. By the way, I've literally only now realized that there was no audio of in-game. Yikes, Johnny. Yikes. Sorry about that, guys. You guys had absolutely no in-game audio until now, so... Yeah, sorry. Oh, by the way, that is an Edis Bar. The assist takes him to 11. He has to get to, like, 17, I believe, to catch up to the lads ahead of him, so... We're going to heavily focus on getting assists with Ennis Bardi for the objective. That is one thing we got to do, especially now that we have uh, the advantage in this game. We're going to be focusing on that one heavily. That is me now. Had him also back into the team unless until Mugasu returns. Oh, that's a free kick. Thank you very much. Please let me take this with Ennis. Yes, we're going to take this with Ennis. 26 yards out. Can we do it? Can we pull it off? That's not enough power, Johnny. That is not enough power. It's green time, though. It was green time, which really helped out. Great save by the goalkeeper. Oh, what? <laughs> what just happened? It's basically the same thing that happened with the pie. Wolves now on a great attack, and Hermoso gets it away. Here we go on the counter now with David Neres. David Neres looking for the pie. The pie with the pass back into Ennis. Ennis with the pass into Neres. Was he off? Was he off? Who knows? And then Neres, yes! Let's go! Another assist for Enis Bardi! That is two! David Neres has scored once again! He has been outstanding, man. Honestly, David Neres, much better than Sam Maxima. But it might be a thing of where I use my left wings more than I do my right wings. So, I feel bad for Sam Maxima. He is obviously a class player, but sadly... He doesn't get those passes at the moment. So 10 goals for David, David Neres in the team right now. Well done, mate. Well done. As we are casually 2-0 up against Wolves. Um, Manchester City is probably 8-0 up against Huddersfield at this point. Wolves is 10th positioned in the league. So we have to win this game. This is a must-win game. What a shot that was. Coming in down that center. But we desperately do need the three points. And one thing that would be great would be a clean sheet. If we can get a clean sheet, I know I might have jinxed it by saying it now. But if we can get one, that'd be great. Because we are potentially not the top three defense anymore. We got to change that again. Douglas Luiz. Bardi again. He needs options. He needs more options. Oh, here he goes. Ennis, do it by yourself, mate. Do it by yourself. Good try. Very good try. Patricio, amazing save. I'm going to play this one short this time around. Whoop. All right. Beautiful. And now, take my time. Do the La Croqueta. Get inside. Ah, oh, no. Yes. Thomas Partey. Big steal. Ennis Bardi. Looking for the one-twos. Passing it again. There goes Sam Maximo. No, that is Partey again. Partey. Yes. Let's go. The pie goal and assist on his comeback. And even Thomas Partey is now getting involved in the attack. Look at that. Look at him making his run. Don't expect him to do so, but he has done it in this game, which is great. Not the best of finishes. Don't get me wrong. It's actually a terrible finish. Right past Rui Patricio, who should have done better there with his legs. But we'll take that. We will take that. Thomas Partey, his second goal only this season. So you can tell he doesn't move forward too much. And when he does... It's a miracle. Well done. By the way, big shout out to Ramsdale, man. What a player he has been for us. Uh, initially, I thought he wasn't good enough. Hold on. Ennis, another goal for Partey. Let's get it. Another assist for Ennis. No. Oh, man. I feel bad now. That should have been an assist for Ennis, man. We'll take it. 4-0. Man, we're destroying Wolves right now. I have to admit, I did not expect it to go this well. I genuinely expected more of a challenge. But we are one of the best teams in Europe right now. Quarter final in the Champions League. Second in the Premier League. This is the type of result you expect from a team of this level. This is not unrealistic. This is just us being exactly where we need to be. Douglas, you're... You're... Let's go. Ennis, the pie, Memphis, 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 here it goes, inside again, Memphis, the pie, let's go, jump, jump, Memphis, why is he not doing the dead fish, how do you do the dead fish again, I forgot, hey, two goals, one assist for Memphis, the pie, look at him, he's so happy, he is so happy to be back, he has seen Mason Greenwood take over his position, and now Memphis, his comeback is completed. 
He is a class striker. Don't get me wrong. He's very, very good. But a few things he is lacking, which Greenwood does have, especially the weak foot. That is a big thing. The weak foot on a striker, man, is huge. If you can have a good weak foot, four star, five star, it's a massive advantage. Talking about massive advantages here, we were about to maybe get another one, but 5 0 against Wolves. That is, this might just turn out to be one of the biggest victories. If we can hold on to the clean sheet, this is going to be amazing. Douglas Luiz, outstanding in midfield. What a player. Genuinely, I'm so pleased with the team that we have put together. It's been a pleasure to play with these lads. Ardi has the space. Ennis. Ennis. Oh, would you look at that? Ennis. Nenis. One more assist. <sighs> uh, I'm so upset. <laughs> I'm so upset. I wanted more than just the two. I want a hat-trick of assists for Ennis, but Nedes has bottled it. Please keep the clean sheet. Please, I beg you. I beg you. Oh. Oof. Okay. Okay, we've done it there. We've done it. We've done it. So, Maximal, I see your run. I see your run, bro. I'm sorry about you not getting involved at all. I'm really sorry. Ennis Bardi, great run. Memphis, oh, that's a bad pass for me. That's it. Come on! What a win that is against Wolves. It is two assists for Enes Bardi and three goal contributions for Memphis Depay on his comeback. It's great to have him back. He has gotten the man of the match straight away. Two goals, one assist. Two assists for Bardi. Two goals for Neres. One goal for Partey. And then an assist for Sam Maxima. And an assist for Ramsdale. What? I got an assist with the goalkeeper. GG's. Extremely pleased with the outcome of this game. I'm very happy that we are performing well. Uh, City obviously have won their game, so there's still two points ahead of us. If a loan offer to Tavares that we're not going to accept, Tavares is going to remain in the team because Klosterman does get injured quite a bit. I'm sorry about not involving you, Pereira. We're going to get you in next time around. I was too involved in the game to think about any type of substitutions. Sheffield United coming up next. Sheffield currently in that 18th position. Let's get a quick dub here with the reserves team. Yes, reserves team will have to step up because after that, we're up against Paris Saint-Germain. So reserves team now actually going to get strengthened a little bit. We're going to take Cielo off, which hurts, but uh, he's going to probably kind of come in as a substitute later on anyways. We have Greenwood and Shearer now up top. This could be a very, very good reserves team here. Getting that dub against Sheffield would be huge. Here we go. Come on, let's please. They have lost twice in the last three games and only a draw against Burnley. I actually, I'm, I'm genuinely looking... Nah, I did not just concede from San Jose. You guys better score or I'm going to lose my... No, 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 no. Shira scores. Okay, bro. There's no way. There's absolutely no way we're only getting a draw against Sheffield because San Jose scored. Come on, Shira. San Jose. I can't believe he's actually come back to hurt me. Ah, oh, Mikel San Jose. He tried. He tried. He, he got close to it. He got close to it, but he didn't get it done. Let me see if that's actually the San Jose that I'm thinking about. Oh, get out. Greenwood is injured for four months, guys. Ah, that's horrible. Greenwood, his season is over. I can't do the objective. Ah, that's so annoying. That is so freaking annoying, man. Look at that. Greenwood is on 21 out of 24, and he got injured for four months. What do we do with the objective? Let me know in the comments down below, guys. I mean, a, a four-month injury. It's not my fault. I don't know what to do here. Ah, that sucks. Let's take a look if that was San Jose. The one that I'm talking about. England. Where did he play? He played at Sheffield, didn't he? Which San Jose are we talking about here? Is it Mikel? Is it actually Mikel? Oh, it actually is. It actually is Mikel San Jose. I can't, nah. I actually conceded a goal from Mikel San Jose. I mean, if that isn't the perfect way to end the episode, I don't know what is. Next episode is going to be an absolute madness, boys. We're up against Paris Saint-Germain, Arsenal, then PSG again, Liverpool, Tottenham, Man City. The month of April is going to decide the fate of this season. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. I'm going to give the uh, player of the episode to...
probably Neres. Yeah, I'm going to give it to David Neres. He has had an outstanding performance in that game. Thank you guys so much for watching. Or actually, let's give it to Depay. He has gotten the comeback. So Memphis Depay, player of the episode. Have a great day, guys. See you on the next one as we try and get those titles. It's going to be tough, but we're going to try and get there. Take care. Peace.